And so now, also this pipe will be, you know, wrapped. We'll put like a little bump out here to, and wrap it in drywall, but we want to have access to it in case there's any problems because upstairs there's a bathroom that we've actually, they decided to add on later on. So we got the siding on, we got the drywall delivered, and now the drywall is installed and the mutters and tapers are coming here. So we're just doing a quick little cleanup, getting it ready for them. We wanna clean up in between trades each time. That way that gives the client a better experience. There's not a lot of dust everywhere. We gotta get gutters on this thing, dude. It's, uh, it's killing me. Look, listen how quiet it is in here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we made it pretty in here. All right, so we got the drywall installed. Now here's the pros and cons about drywall installation. The good drywall guys, they hang the rock really nice as you can see, but they're pigs. They leave a big mess everywhere. And so we have to come in in between and clean up after them they don't like the cleanup. They don't like doing the, uh, the cleanup part of the job. So we come in here, we're gonna straighten this thing out, get it ready for the mutters and the tapers, and then we'll clean up again, and then we'll start moving on to finished trades. We've passed all our inspections, except for, uh, with the exception of like, there's like this weird deck engineering thing that has to happen outside, but we can start actually finishing out the interior of the, of the house now. We don't have to tiptoe around inspections, which is awesome. But yeah, so we actually added two layers of sheetrock down here to soundproof it. And as well as we insulated in between rooms. So this room right here, this leads to a bathroom. Bathrooms are noisy. There's shower valves going on. There's water running. There's toilets flushing, etc. So we did two sheets of sheetrock here and we insulated the wall so that there's a sound barrier in between the rooms. So it's a lot quieter. We also did quiet appliances. We did uh, a vent fan. On, in this bathroom that I get, um, it, it's, it's, it has a very low zones level. So like the sound level is a lot lower than it typically would be. Okay. All right, so in this room, this is that room that we originally busted in with a, with a sledgehammer. We, uh, we cut the walls out with a little quickie saw, hot saw, whatever you want to call it. And then we busted this out with, a, with this sledgehammer. And the reason we did that is because, uh, we, one, we didn't have time to wait for the concrete guys to come in and cut it, and two, uh, we weren't able to actually get through the wall without calling the concrete guy and they were booked for over a month. So this room now is going to be a mechanical room. This is going to be, there's going to be a tankless hot water heater here. It's all insulated as you could tell. This room was just like bare and empty and damp and it was this weird, we're calling it the dungeon. It was really weird in here. And so now you can see, you know, it's really quiet in here. There's not a lot of acoustics going on. It's, I mean, it's, it's, the noise is levels really reduced and we're going to put in here we set it up just in case that the clients want to put a washer and a dryer in this room we're going to go ahead and uh, we, we we plumbed it for that as well as a tankless hot water heater so that they get their energy credits and then we also ran pex lines in here there was a bunch of galvanized plumbing in here and this room was completely inaccessible it was really weird it was completely blocked off from all ways so now it's opened up we got that doorway that you're standing in right now. And um, this will be basically the mechanical room. We're gonna put like a false panel door over that with insulation on the back so that it's even more quiet so that you don't hear anything and there's no disturbance as far as, you know, when the washer and the dryer is going on or the sink or the, you know, the water heater, you're not gonna hear any of that stuff. All right. So last time you were in here, we were just framed um, and we're actually going to relocate this fridge over here on this side uh, and then make like this opening doorway thing for, you know, for cabinets and for space and for storage. And so now also this pipe will be, 
you know, wrapped. We'll put like a little bump out here to and wrap it in drywall, but we want to have access to it in case there's any problems because upstairs there's a bathroom that we've actually, they decided to add on later on. And so now if you walk in here, you can see we've got, you know, we've got our, this will be the pantry. It's all rocked now. There'll be like a nice, some nice shelving in here. So this is a 450 CFM portable ventilator. This pulls all the dust and debris out of the air and out of the building as a 30 foot hose. And this is one of the things that we do to give you a better experience to make sure that, you know, there's minimal dust in the house, that it gets pulled out, which there is still dust. It, it happens, it's remodeling, but this minimizes it. All right, so this room is going to be a bathroom. They decided, clients decided that they were gonna do this at a later time. And so now that we're at the tail end of the project downstairs, um, I decided it's time to you know get this thing rocking and rolling. And so this area right here will be a shower. This whole thing will be a shower. We're gonna raise this window up to about here. It's gonna be a little bit higher. We're gonna put some ventilation in here. And we have minimal, we have like seven foot one. So we gotta make sure that we're not going super high with the floor or any of the finishes in here, they need to be as low as possible. So we're gonna do a luxury vinyl plank, a waterproof one on the floor, and then there'll be a shower in here, there'll be a toilet somewhere over here, and a sink over here. This will significantly increase the functionality of the second floor of the home, since there's only one bathroom right now and there's lots of people living here, which, I mean, there'll be two after the addition, but there's only one bathroom for now. Yeah, this will be cool. We're gonna put a nice little weedy pan in here. It'll be sweet. Mm -hmm. 